Hi, I'm Stan Wesley. I spent my life helping people connect with things that matter. And cancer matters. What is cancer? Let's talk about it. Cancer. Nobody wants it. But you and I know someone who has it. What are your odds of getting cancer? We know that about 4 Canadians in 10 develop cancer sometime in their lives. Let's change those odds for the better. Maybe you've been avoiding this topic, and for good reason. You don't have a doctor, don't want to hear bad news, maybe you don't trust the medical system, or you're just plain scared. You're not alone. So what is cancer anyway? Cancer starts small, in one cell. Your body has trillions of cells, such as bone cells, skin cells, and brain cells. If a cell gets damaged, your body fixes or removes it. Cancer happens when damaged cells aren't fixed and grow out of control. There are more than 200 kinds of cancer, and one thing in common. Cancer cells are bad actors. Some clump together and form lumps or tumors. Cancer cells invade their neighbors, stopping them from working right. It can break off and spread to other parts of the body. What damages your cells? Exposure to environmental pollutants or toxins such as smoke or alcohol? Getting too much sun and burning? Viruses or other diseases? Getting old because old bodies don't fix cells as well. People can inherit damaged cells from their parents, but this is rare. Some people say if it happens, it happens. But your choices do change the odds. Cancer odds are risk factors are like dark marbles in these jars. The more you smoke, for example, the higher your chance of picking a dark marble and getting cancer. Know the big four cancer risks. Commercial tobacco, alcohol, unhealthy eating, and being overweight. Tobacco, including secondhand smoke, can be harmful to you and your family. Alcohol, even at moderate levels, can increase your risk. Even being overweight can affect your overall health. On the positive side, there are things you can do to reduce your risk and stay healthy. Respect traditional and ceremonial tobacco. Get physically active and stay healthy. Get at least 30 minutes of moderate activity each day. Eat colorful vegetables and fruit, high fiber foods, and less red meat and processed foods, but potatoes don't count. Now let's turn the conversation to working with community health representatives and nurses. Getting screened for cancer saves lives. Screening looks for colorectal, breast, and cervical cancer before you have any symptoms. And the good news, non-insured health benefits cover travel to the nearest screening center. Are you ready to start the conversation? Talk to someone you trust, a CHR, CHN, an elder, a friend, or a family member who knows about cancer. Finding cancer early can save your life. For example, treating colorectal cancer early gives you a 90% chance of being cured. If you find breast cancer early and very small, you have a good chance of being cured. Regular pap tests can find cervical changes before cancer develops. Is fear of cancer still holding you back? Remember the good reasons for getting screened. Being educated and informed. Being there for your children and grandchildren and setting a healthy example. Having peace of mind. Now let's take charge of our health. Too many Aboriginal people aren't getting screened or treated for cancer. Instead of sad outcomes, let's make more healthy outcomes for First Nations people with cancer. Find out more about preventing cancer at cancercare.on.ca. Uh -huh.